Um, so it's this, a little dark in here anyway. Yeah, so. the light's picking it up. Come on. Um, then we come out here. Here's the female locker room over here. Basically the same thing. The only difference is that you go through the bathroom to get into it. Okay. Um, and it's got fewer. It's got 16 lockers. Okay. So. 16, yeah, yeah, great, great. So right now there's two female officers, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. But that could change. Um, and then, now, back here a little bit. This is where the uh, summer officers uh, would store their stuff. Right, right now we store it all in corners and everything else in the summer. Well, we've got enough lockers here, we'll be able to assign them a place to store stuff. The VIP program, the volunteers we have, sure. this is where they'll be able to store their stuff whether here in the building um, and everything. Now these rooms may be locked. They are, yeah, because they're being used for, here's a, this is a gun cleaning room here. Um, right now we don't have a room that's really available for uh, working on cleaning, maintaining our weapons. We're using a closet. Mm -hmm. um, this room has got a lot of safety features built in, so if something accidentally goes off, it isn't gonna take somebody out in the hallway, et cetera. Um, it's gonna have, it's got cleaning bins, ultrasonic cleaning bins that go here, so they can, we can get the weapons well cleaned. It's got ventilation, sure air, does. everything else. This is the armory. Um, yep. All that is is just an empty room. Right now they're storing computers and stuff for the IT room in there, that's why it's locked. But, um, it's just the armory. It's where the you know the extra um, ammunition and everything is all will be stored. Uh, and then uh, here's the kind of the brains of the police department. Right back here. So this is it, huh? This, this is, is it. all your computers. And yep. Everything's pretty much going to be down here. Everything. This wow. is uh, power. Yeah. This is where all the video stuff here. Yeah, patches in all the um, telephones system. We've got a VOIP phone system, all the networks, all the security system with all these keypads. All that stuff is is down here. Um, over here in this empty wall, it won't be empty for long. This is going to be filled with racks for the new radio system. Okay. It's all computer operated. Yeah, based. wow, look at this. This yeah. is incredible. That's all the access. So, who control. runs it? You must have one person that just runs this. We do. We got yeah. uh, Jen Erickson um, okay. currently does it. And then, uh, actually, the town, they're going to add uh, some more. Cause part of this, the town's network system is going to come in here also. Okay. So, so the ta everything that the town has will be secured here versus right now it's in the it, two fairgrounds which isn't very secure in the event of storm this has got not only backup power but it's got uh, you know the proper uh, power conditioning systems it's got everything it needs the temperature and air control systems and you name it so um, and then this caged area is actually uh, those are the um, big battery supplies, um, backup powers, but that's actually where all the 911 equipment goes. Um, Verizon will fill that room with uh, servers for the 911 equipment. So the, the fence is so they can access it without accessing our got system, it, it. Is basically. That's how they, they do that. Sure. Um, <clears throat> I think this has got supplies. Oh, no. This is going to be. Believe it or not, it doesn't seem like much of a room, but this is going to be a firearms training simulator room for the police officers. We have a, a system that we came across that uh, will set up in here. It kind of looks like a big screen and everything. It projects the officers come in here with, with the weapons very similar to what we carry, size, weight, feel, and everything just set up so that they can watch the video and do shoot don't shoot scenarios oh my gosh like a pages, giant video like a giant video game wow and that way instead we, of using a live fire live we fire. still have to do live fire but we won't have to rely on it as much is that right this. is that the way that is yep. they using that well, video stuff instead of the yeah because oh. what that trains you is shoot don't shoot scenarios all live fire trains you to do is shoot if we had known that the uh, hunting association was having as much difficulty as they are having getting their thing going, we would have probably had an indoor shooting range um, put in here. But you know, the thing is, they're very expensive, mm -hmm. and it would have added significant cost. So when you know that was going at the time, this was in design. That was well on its way to going to happen. So you know, it looked like a good thing. 
sure. um, but now we're kind of nervous about it. But um, nervous about what? About them getting it done. Oh. So um, this is uh, the quartermaster's office. Right now, up in the attic of the police station is where we store all the stuff, and it's not insulated. It's not ventilated. You know, it's a lot of stuff gets moldy and mildewy. Right now, everything we have will be stored in here. Paperwork. Paper, uniforms, supplies. Oh, I see. Got gotcha. you. You name it. Yep. If we do it, and it'll be all inventoried and tracked, and you know, right instead of just thrown in boxes. So we're actually going to convert over to what's called a quartermaster system. Um, right now, our guys want uniforms. They go up to Regency or one of those places and get them, and we, they send us the bill. Okay, it works, but it's expensive. We're going to be able to pre-order at very significant discounts, um, like shirts and pants and different things, and keep the inventory here. They want one. We pull it off the rack, and we can get them for about half the price that way. You know, so. Um, and this is the building uh, fleet maintenance office. This is where all the records would be kept for our fleet and yep. building maintenance and all that. Um, now here, elevator equipment. Oh, wow. Elevator to the top floor. Yeah, it goes, goes nice. all the way to the top. Here's the engine room of the place. What we say. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. Another camera coming in here real quick. I'm going to take pictures of my pretty work. Where? Oh, is this your work? All your that work? white stuff's me. It looks what good. Is it? Insulation. Yeah. Insulation? Oh, you're, put, you're insulating the yeah. attic. I got you. So what do we got here, Chief? Wow. The, you got me. <laughs> if somebody says, come turn this, the lever, I'll be in trouble. No, this is uh, the geothermal heating system. It is. Geothermal. Yeah. These are the chillers. Those are the pumps over there. Wow. Um, here's the a backup boiler or assist boiler, whatever they call it. Um, things like that. So, so how do you, do you, what do you know about the geothermal? I know it pumps water out of the ground at 50 some degrees. They transfer it into the pipes that go through the building. And that transfers then into these offices. And then in the winter, they have to heat it up a little bit more with that thing. But then it, it's more efficient than uh, just the boiler, I guess, and okay. all that. Are you a, are you one of the geothermal guy? No, I'm expecting up to the boiler. Okay, you're hooking it up to the boiler. Yeah, yeah. I have to fire it and send it up. I see. He's the geothermal. Oh, he is? He's the guy. Oh, let me talk to you. He's the one that ran out of here. <laughs> hey, what's going on with geothermal? I mean, can we do it here? He explained it perfectly. <laughs> Did he? But, yep. but we're on an island. I mean, I, how can There's we have... water. You have fresh water. You have wells. You can have it. Anywhere. Really? Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere. Does it make sense for a homeowner to think about it? Or no? Is it too expensive I've never to looked in? into it. It's you gotta pretty go... expensive, but if you're building a new home... Worth looking into, maybe. Worth looking into, maybe. On average, it's going to be at a cost per heating unit about 30% less than what we currently pay. Okay. So, because we got just a propane boiler back in the, and hot water boiler in the old station, mm. and it's constantly running. Now, that's if everything is running efficiently. It'll be 30% more efficient. We know the system back at the station, current station, is really bad because um, it, it has two settings, off and extremely hot, and so you have to run the air conditioners to keep the rooms cool enough oh to be able to stay in it. Um, this is the uh, fire suppression system for the building. Wow. That was obviously designed by some firemen. Sure. Um,